On Home Diagnosis, the first show ever about the science of homes, you'll find lots of amazing home improvement and construction ideas that might not be practical for your home. But here is something that every single home in the world needs, exhaust fans. Here's why. We all know that the air outside where you live can get polluted, mm. but recent experiments like HomeChem have proven that the air indoors can be astronomically more polluted than that. Here's Dr. Richard Corsi, one of the world's top indoor air researchers. If you can make sure you don't bring harmful things into your home, you ventilate properly, and you keep it dry, you're likely going to have a healthy house. We can achieve two out of three of these goals with good bathroom exhaust. Our work testing home performance taught us that there's an epidemic of junky bath fans being badly installed in even the nicest homes and then never getting used. So let's stop that. Here's how to pick a bath exhaust fan and how to prove it'll keep your family's home healthy. Where should I put the bath fan? Right away, we've hit a snag. Do you know what most builders call it? They call it a fart fan. So guess where they put it? A bath exhaust fan is actually for removing moisture. So there's only one right place to put it, over the shower or bathtub. But what about the farts? Well, if your bathroom is laid out with the toilet between the door and the bathing area, then when the fan takes out hot steamy air over the bath or shower, replacement air comes in under the door, grabs any odors around the toilet on its way to the fan over the shower. Two birds with one fan. And if your layout doesn't help the airflow like this, simply add a fan near the toilet. Next question, how do I choose between fans? Always choose fans that are certified by HVI, the Home Ventilating Institute. This means that it's been tested by an independent lab to meet performance standards. Certified fans don't cost any more than the alternative and you know what you're getting. Size the fan based on the room with at least one CFM of airflow per square foot of floor space. Even in a tiny room with a tub or shower, start with at least a 50 CFM fan. And what should this fan sound like? Well, it shouldn't sound like this. There are lots of HVI certified fans available today that are almost silent. We always choose those personally. The sound of fans is measured in zones, with the sound of a modern fridge running being one zone. Two zones would be twice as loud. Now it's easy and affordable to find a bath fan that is one zone or less. For example, this Brone A80L can be found at most home improvement stores for less than $150. Oh, quick uh, insider tip, my parents did not wanna go with anything quieter than one zone because they like to hear the fan when it's running. Remember, you can always add noise, but you can't take it away. Now if you opt for an Energy Star certified fan, that means that you're gonna be getting at least three CFM per watt of electrical power. Basically, if you run a 50 CFM fan for 24 hours straight, you would burn less than half a kilowatt. And that's like a nickel a day? And some Brone fans can actually be up to four times more efficient than that. Energy Star certification also means that the fan will work at higher pressures if it's installed poorly. Which brings us to the last piece of the puzzle, the duct that connects this fan to the outdoors. If it runs through an attic or crawl space, it should be insulated. Otherwise, it will be dripping wet inside the duct. Ugh. It should also be short, smooth, and run in a straight line. Why would an exhaust fan be turned so that the ductwork has to reverse its direction? Mm. Well, because these fans are usually installed by an electrician in new builds who might not be thinking or caring about airflow. This is why it's critical to plan to test your fan. Even if you get the top of the line ultra green DC motor bath fan, if it's not installed correctly, then it means that your home is not being ventilated and dry like it could be. And that means your home is not gonna be as healthy. There are lots of techniques to test exhaust fans. So all you have to do is pick one and make sure that it's used before the install is complete. It's very simple. The fan label says how much air it should be moving when it's ducted correctly. All we have to do is check it. 
Now your home is ready to be healthier. Now all you have to do is use your fan. If you like a smart home, there are sensors that will automatically make this exhaust happen. Today, you can even add a sense on rise humidity sensing technology that will activate the fan when there's a sudden spike in humidity when you turn on the shower. No matter which option you choose, just make sure that you take bathroom ventilation seriously. You can find tools and resources at brone.com slash learn. Special thanks to Home Kim Scientist and the Home Ventilating Institute for helping us tell this story. Brone is a founding sponsor of Home Diagnosis, the first TV series about the science of homes. <laughs>